if we work on marble it will perish if we work on brass time will efface it if we rear temples it will crumble into dust but if we work on immortal minds and instill into them just principles we are engraving it on a tablet which no time can efface it but it will brighten and brighten to all its eternity it is indeed my pleasure rather privilege to be here at this dais and when i am standing at this dais it is reminiscent of my childhood youth and adolescence i may be failing in my duties if i don't mention my high school teacher who sowed seed in my mind to become a mathematics teacher i'll be failing in my duties if i don't mention my professor dr g paria dc dfil who gave me an opportunity to teach in the same college where i studied i'll be failing in my duties if i don't mention the patmasri ars lugani who welcomed me to the modern education and offered a chair of principalship well with their blessings i am here to bless you my students whom i interacted for the last one year and i call this as a blessing ceremony you have got many advices and you know everything and you are wonderful and you are the best lord ever i saw so far now when vinil sir asked me to speak a few words on this occasion usually i don't miss my sunday mass and i was pondering what to talk about which fruitful thought should i give to you now i am using this language only because of the reason that you are going to write the examination in english and you have to read the question also in english you must have to comprehend in english it is my moral obligation and duty to make you understand how to speak how to read how to write properly well i uh, pondered then i remembered one event that was the occasion of the graduate celebration of a university there was a psychology professor who came to the dais and that professor said all right today i am going to give you a lesson of uh, vital aspects or how to get your perspective and mindset and you want that your perspective and mindset also the professor said that today i am going to give you a lesson on a vital perspective kaatcha paadagalu mindset vital perspective and mindset then the professor took a glass half filled water and put it on his head clutch the like this then this is the students they saw the eyes same metaphors he is going to uh, explain glass half filled the glass half empty do you know that that's a metaphor that is optimism and pessimism well the students uh, uh, laughed that the professor smiled then asked a question how heavy is this glass of water on my head all the students were very much enthusiastic to say 200 grams 250 grams 300 grams a little over what they are a kilo like that the professor smiled from my perspective the absolute weight of this glass and water is irrelevant the absolute weight of glass and water is irrelevant but what matters is this how long i hold this on my head how long i hold this on my head well if i do hold for a minute or two it becomes so light if i hold it for an hour or two straight its weight may cause ache to my arms 
if i hold it for a day straight its weight will clumps up my arm and definitely it will lead to i may feel numb numb and paralyzed forcing me to throw this glass onto the floor there was a pin drop silence in the audience what matters is this how long you carry on your head now my students the professor again continued your worries your disappointments your stressful thoughts are like this glass of water you keep it for a second nothing drastic could happen but if you keep it for hour or two your arms may get ache but you keep it for the long day the entire day long you may have you may be forced to throw it up i hope you understood what i said it's a time that some of you are asking what is deleted in the portion what is not in the portion and running here and there what is to be studied and all i said like a glass of water take it for a second then leave it don't forget your aim your goal is there try hard for your goal and you will be successful ഒരു പാട് ചിന്തകളുണ്ട് ഇനി അറുപത് ദിവസമേ ഉള്ളോ മുപ്പത് ദിവസമേ ഉള്ളോ ഇരുപത് ദിവസമേ ഉള്ളോ ഞാനെല്ലാം പഠിച്ചു തീർന്നോ എനിക്കിനി ഇതിൽ കൂടുതൽ പഠിക്കാനുണ്ടോ ഇത്തരം ചിന്തകൾ ദിസ് ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് തിങ്കിങ്സ് ആൻഡ് സ്ട്രെസ്ഫുൾ തോട്ട്സ് ആർ മേ ബി ഇൻ സം ഓഫ് യു വെൽ കീപ്പ് ഇറ്റ് ഫോർ എ സെക്കൻഡ് ആൻഡ് ത്രൂ ഇറ്റ് എ വേ റിമെമ്പർ യുവർ ഗോൾ വാട്ട് ഇസ് ദ ഗോൾ ദ ഗോൾ ഇസ് യുവർ ജെയ് മെയിൻ എക്സാമിനേഷൻ നൗ യു പ്രിപ്പയർ ഫോർ ദാറ്റ് and i advise you to keep yours in good health and you must have to keep good relationship with everyone with your family with your friends and all and it's the time that you have to identify whether you have committed some mistake to anybody feel say say sorry the one thing which we don't have is this we never studied how to appreciate others then saint paul says that count everyone before you more esteem than yourself who ever in front of you count everyone more esteem than yourself it will help you a lot kids we are we are not alone in the world we are one among them this world is for everyone and you are thinking must be like that that is give esteem to each and everyone and i use this opportunity whether knowingly or unknowingly if i have hurt anybody's feeling feel free i say sorry to you all if there is anything happen so but uh, knowingly or unknowingly anything it's quite natural it's an interaction between yourself and my me so there is quite possible and i always make this type of uh, functions means particularly this blessing ceremonies uh, celebrations i use this i wish you all the best he has given you the entire advice i don't have anything more to give you but i'm sure you have done very well in the examinations and my previous experience you are one of the best lord what we have got and you will come with flying colors i know you can work hard may god bless you all thank you എൻട്രൻസ് സംബന്ധമായ വാർത്തകളും അപ്ഡേഷനുകളും ഏറ്റവും വേഗം ആധികാരികമായി അറിയാൻ ബ്രില്യൻ സ്റ്റഡി സെന്റർ പാല യൂട്യൂബ് ചാനൽ സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ചെയ്യുക ബെലൈക്കൻ അമർത്തുക ഈ വീഡിയോ മറ്റു സുഹൃത്തുക്കളിലേക്